Uh, have you seen this, Rachel? This is great. This is in the sun today. This guy, his name is Billy Wright, and he bit into a custard cream, and there was a diamond, a big diamond in his crunch cream. Is that actual size? I, <laughs> I doubt it. Only <laughs> tiny, tiny little bush. But he was saying that um, I thought it was maybe one that they missed at home, but it was actually apparently from the packing factory. It had fallen into the packet. There's surely somebody who works in that factory with a missing diamond who's now celebrating, but they haven't been able to find that person yet, have they? Phone Billy Wright, yeah. He now wants the biscuit company, by the way, to pay for his, <laughs> pay for his um, broken tooth. Uh, but this one as well, which is something we're going to talk about now. Can you hold that yeah, for yeah. me? Is, is allowed that to? allowed? Do the rules allow? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here, grab that. There we go. We then have to burn it. So this is the aerial picture of what's going on in the Suez Canal at the moment because of the difficulties with that huge container uh, ship ever given which is stuck there in the middle of the canal and there's this massive build-up and these are all the other vessels which are carrying goods which me we may want at some stage quite soon to be honest yeah which includes tvs and computers yeah. rubik's cubes really how long has it been stuck there I mean, <laughs> since 30, the 80s 40 years <laughs> yeah exercise bikes i heard somebody on the radio yesterday saying that they were waiting for their flooring uh, uh, pg delivered have you heard about this somebody who he'd got ordered flooring wooden flooring from france it had gone to china to be fixed is now heading back to shropshire and is somewhere there in that aerial Someone's shop waiting to, to come back yeah well the latest attempts to refloat that huge uh, vessel have ended in failure